Every year, the City of London programme invites talented young regulators, financial practitioners and government officials to experience working life in the City of London. Two host organisations and a delegate share some of their experiences. We as a firm are very strict about what we participate in and what we don't participate in. So although I'm effectively the face of the City of London programme for CMS, it's done as part of a wider consultation within the firm. A selection process was uh, extremely cautious, I think. We had an interview with City of London programme officials that came to Croatia and maybe during that interview they were considering in which institutions we would be placed. I think all of them are, first of all, well educated and they also have a little bit of uh, practical uh, experience and they're all ambitious and highly energetic. When we get the candidates through, I speak to our office in the local jurisdiction from where they're from. So for example, this year I spoke to our office in Croatia and we, we jointly select the person that we think will be an ideal candidate. From the first day, I was included in every possible assignment that my team normally do. I was involved in their everyday work, so I think that was a very precious experience for me in general. Her ability to actually produce work of a calibre that we would expect in private practice was second to none. And if I'm honest, uh, I would have hired her as a, an associate in my team. These are bright people. They don't need to be spoon-fed. They just need to be... Um, set going in a direction which is of interest to them and their innate ability should carry them through. Most of the participants in the programme are really professionals that can really influence legislation processes in our countries. I'm planning to stay in the Ministry of Finance because I see uh, now the things that I can help with in the future and how to maybe improve things in Croatia in general. I certainly hope that I can contribute and help Cameron McKenna in the future because they helped me a lot during the 10 weeks. It's the old adage, you never know where somebody's going to end up. We have had instances where we've had issues in those jurisdictions and I've just been able to pick up the phone to an ex-candidate and say, look, you know, I know you might not be the right person, but what do I do about this? Or I've got this problem, how should I address it? And that's, you know, that's very, very helpful. Anyone who's interested in First of all, better understanding, mutual understanding with these markets. Secondly, building relationships with any of these markets. And thirdly, um, positioning the UK uh, and London as a point of reference for those markets. If any of those things are important in your particular field of activity, then this programme is going to, going to help you. The whole process every year is very, very well handled. It's very straightforward. It makes it very easy for me to be involved. All the markets that uh, the programme has uh, touched have been uh, important ones for us as we look to uh, help build our influence and also our student base in uh, countries in Central and Eastern Europe. The contacts that you build up and the benefits that it can bring to your business, not just so much in terms of back in the jurisdiction, but actually the interaction with the candidates and what we learn from them while they're sitting there is, is really, really valuable. And I would say to any host, you know, organisation that's thinking about hosting it, that, they, that it's an absolute no-brainer and they should do it. Mm -hmm.